I don't believe in, in, in coaches who have one strategy. When I say it's maybe risky, but when I talk about Pep Guardiola in Manchester City, everyone talks as he is the best coach ever. Um, but he didn't prove that. I mean, he won with Barcelona the Champions League and, and some trophies, but many coaches won the Champions League with Barcelona. And that Barcelona with Messi, Xavi and all the other guys was one of the best teams ever. He didn't make the team. He had the team. And we went to Bayern Munich and he, he failed because Jupp Heynckes, he won the Champions League, he won the Cup, he won the Championship. He, he, he uh, Guardiola, he won only... Uh, uh, twice the championship and, and the cup, but not the Champions League. And now five years in, in Manchester City, spending uh, billions of money, buying all the players you want. And yeah, you are champion where you win cups, but you don't win the major cup. You don't win the Champions League. I mean, if tomorrow, if tomorrow uh, any club in the world spend billions, probably you become champion. If tomorrow Luton Town or, or Ipswich or, or uh, I don't know, Middlesbrough spent billions of money, the chance is big that they become champion. Uh, but the quality of a good coach is um, compete with the best and, 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 and win the, the highest trophies. I mean, if Pep Guardiola would play, would be coaching uh, Wadi Degla or uh, Smua or, uh, and he cannot buy players, but he has to coach the players he gets. What can he achieve with that? Because 90% or 95% of the coaches all over the world cannot buy players, cannot buy millions. If you're coaching uh, Al Ismaili or if you coach uh, any team in the world, you, you get the players who are there and you need to get results with these players. So for me, it's, it's quite interesting to follow that. And I like to look in a critical way. A lot of people, they, they, they like to see the fancy part of it. I like to analyze as a coach uh, from, hey, how can a coach achieve something? Tuchel, he went to Chelsea six months. He didn't buy players, but he won the Champions League. Um, and for me, that's sometimes interesting. You need to go to a country, to a club, and um, you work with the players available. And you sometimes need to change your strategy to win a trophy or to qualify like Gambia. Uh, Gambia played always very attacking football, but never qualified. I changed to a better organization on and off the pitch. And, and we started winning and drawing against big nations because of that. So I think it's, it's very important as a coach to develop. Uh, if I'm coaching tomorrow Real Madrid, or if I coach tomorrow Al Ahly, or if I coach tomorrow Egypt or Nigeria, probably I have to change my strategy of coaching. But it depends also of the opponent. If you play with Egypt against Sudan, you, you can play attacking football. Even if Egypt play with a second team against Sudan, you can play attacking football. But if Egypt meet Nigeria or Egypt meet Algeria, you sometimes have to change your strategy. And, and that's something as a coach I like to, to analyze and to learn from to become also stronger as a coach.